Mm. Okay. That kicks on every day at this time. It runs for about three or four minutes. Huh, Tuck? Huh, bud? I'm chopping this out of here today. Then leave all that. But this little hump right here, it, it gets in my way. You know how many times I trip over it. Okay, over here, over here. Okay, I have a waterproof box to go over this, so that's going to be fine. I'm going to take two of these. I have two different sizes, so whatever two work. This is a heavy bracket. This was holding that 50-foot tower together uh, in a bundle. So if I bolt this onto this windowsill, window casing, which is good. I can put it anywhere here because this is good wood. I have that over here. Yeah. The other one I have will bring it out to about here. And then if I put another one over here, all right, I can do the same thing. Then all I got to do is take the clamp that I just showed you, run it around the pipe through here, and tighten it down. Now that little screw that's in the back end of it, I can just come across here with it, and that'll give me a little bit extra support. So that's what I'm going to use that for. That's what I was looking for. And bingo, I don't have any. And next thing you know, he's pulling it out saying, you need one of these? Uh-huh. So anyway, I got this hooked up. Again, I got to get more staples in it because this will come down as soon as the water starts and the snow and the ice start hitting it. I got to put this box on this and then bring it up here. And that's where the clamp is going to be. So this will also go up against inside the clamp so it'll be protected with that. So we're pretty well set there. Uh, that birdhouse, I gotta plug that in. This one I gotta plug in. I gotta plug them in to make sure that they have power. This one I have to plug in. There's one of them. I don't know where the hell I put it. I do have one of these with a camera in it. Uh, this one here will go under here. Um, and that one looks like it goes in. I may already have that one plugged in. I don't know. So what I did was, see the little hole right there? I got a hole like every other one. Underneath, the, this is one big opening here, one big cavity. So underneath, so I look at these holes and I can see the lights. If I don't see the light, then I know that bulb is out. So then I take a screw drum, just drop this, replace the bulbs. Same with that one and that one. Oh, wait a minute. One of those, I think the bottom just drops. The bottom just drops on a hinge. I think it's that one. I got smart after a while. <laughs> so, and this one out here I know still works because I just put this one up this year. Okay, I brought the cable in through here for the router or the rotator rather, or rotor. Uh, this wire is a blue one. I haven't got it hooked up to anything just yet. Let's put this down here for now. Now, the wire that I'm going to use, that's way up yonder, if you can see it, the rope is almost untangled. I just gotta do another twist and I just pull it off. Uh, but this red one, got the red tape on it which is this one and uh, I really have no slack for this so this is the one that I'm going to end up replacing I am not going to take this one down because I got another antenna I got to put up yeah I'm pushing it here with these antennas um, pretty soon the wife is going to tell me Take it down. <laughs> or no more. You know, and I understand. So. But anyway. It do look good up there. So I'm going to turn that. To go about that direction right there. Actually it's probably already there. And if it is. Hey Tuck. How you doing little buddy? Hey bud. How you doing over there? And there's the other antenna I gotta work on. Alright, so let's see. This is still turning. 
and this is moving freely now. Every now and then it would stick before. So now it seems to be moving freely. I don't know if you can see it down there or not. All right. Where are we now? I can't see it through the... 200, 210, 230, 240, 250. Yeah, that's good. We'll try it. Now I'll put it back on here later. Just let it run for a few minutes. Now let me get my little screwdriver so I can take that off without ruining, without ruining it. Okay. Put this down in here. I should be able to anyway. Oh, come on. Be nice. Oh, that's a Phillips. I don't know Phillips. Good and low are two different things. This one may be too long. Or too wide, rather. Let's see if I can get it off. Then I can do it easier. There. Yeah, now I don't have to worry about this. And now I got this in my hand. This one is not going to work. I don't think it is going to work. No, it's not letting me in there. It's too big. All right. What I need here is a little flathead. A little flathead. You say. Oh, I think I found it. I did. I did. Now, if I can make it work, it'll be all set. Slide this in there. Well, it would work if I didn't have all this glue gathered up on the end of it. Come on, George. Bending on me. It's bending. There we go. Do it from the back side. Okay. Get that off. Good. Okay. So we're back in bed. I take this by hand and I, oh yeah, I think I'm right there. A little bit more, okay. I gotta go towards Nora's bathroom window. Maybe that's sitting flat for now. You know what? Let me put it back over here on the heater. Okay, so right now, it's going towards Chris's house, and it has to go over this way about three degrees. So let's see. I want to bring this up to about uh, 10 or 11. What oh, wrong way? Okay, uh, let's go out there and see where we're at. So I got to head for that window right there. Ah, uh, that's about right. Okay, I'm going to bring it back to 10. Be trained, be trained.
I was telling you about Chris and the drill press. Now this isn't the other one. This is the one that I can use for just crap. But this may end up being one of my better ones. This thing's heavy. Yeah, it's making me work. Oh, it's killing my back. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with my stomach being too big. Well, this is gonna go down. Okay, that was just an empty electrical box. There.